My question is to the Minister for Workplace Relations and Employment. How does the Albanese Labor government's closing the loopholes bill help deliver pay and conditions working Australians are entitled to? And has there been any misinformation in response to this bill? Order. I give a call to the Minister for Employment, Workplace Relations and the Minister for the Arts. Order. So, just to raise the tone. <laughs> Mr Speaker, thank you very much. And I want to thank the member for Patterson for the question. Someone who in particular her whole time here has been calling on this parliament to close the labour hire loophole that affects so many of the miners in her electorate. Uh, now, when we were announcing the closing loopholes legislation, a few months ago an ad ca campaign started. And I said right from the start that the ad campaign was incorrect and the legislation was never going to do what the ads were claiming, that somehow you'd lose the capacity to pay someone who has a lot of experience a different rate to someone who is brand new. And so now that legislation is there, that ad of misinformation, I'm pleased to tell the parliament they've stopped it. Oh, okay. They've now replaced it with two ads of different forms of misinformation. <laughs> and I just want to explain one of those two. It's, it's an ad authorised by the National Farmers Federation. And the National Farmers Federation, I've been dealing with them for a long time, right back to when I was Agriculture Minister. As an organisation, they often provide very good advice on policy. They've never been that good when it comes to rights of workers, historically. They just haven't been. Now, in the ad, in the ad, in the ad, no, it's about National Farmers Federation. In the ad that they've launched, they've said, Order. Members on my right, I can't hear what the minister is saying because there is far too much noise in the chamber. I want to hear from the member for Wannan on a point Speaker, of order. Speaker, the NFF aren't here to defend yeah. themselves. Resume, so your, I think resume your seat. I th the didn't. The member for order. The member for one and I didn't. You're, you're asking for a withdrawal on behalf of an organisation outside the parliament. Is that is that the point of order? Order. Just I think resume your seat. Just to the point of order. Yes. The leader the of the order. house to the point of order. Um, I, I think the standing orders apply the, apply the same to employer organisations as they do to worker organisations. Right. Exactly the same. Order. The minister will get... <laughs> the, the minister will just pause a moment. The. Minister for Employment and sorry, the Environment will cease rejecting. The Member for Wannan, I just need you to state the point of order, not give a statement. The Member for Wannan has the call. I said it would assist the House resume, if the Minister resume, withdrew resume that. Resume your seat. I'm just going to continue with the Minister's answer. Thanks, Mr Speaker. And it might help if I explain what's in the ad. So the ad claims that the labour hire loophole is going to affect farms and therefore is going to affect prices at supermarkets. That's the argument in the ad. Now, I thought, well, hang on. The labour hire loophole only applies if you have an enterprise agreement. So how many farms in Australia have an enterprise agreement that this loophole could possibly be used? And yet, certainly there's some, but it's a percentage of the industry to work it out. So I went to the regulatory impact statement that was prepared independently for the bill. And I'll admit here there are rounding errors. But for the sector, where they say proportion of employees on enterprise agreements, so there'll be a rounding error here, it's only to the nearest one-tenth of one per cent. But the figure is 0 0.0. 0 0.0 per cent. And so I thought, well, what could it be that they're opposed to in the bill? If they're not affected by the one that's actually in the ad, it's not exactly gig economy work. A lot of the, so many of the casuals are itinerant, they'd never qualify for the casuals exemption. But there is one part that the bill closes down that is a real problem in agriculture, and it is wage theft. And it is wage theft. That is the measure most Order. relevant. 
Take cases of people like Kate Sue, Order. paid $4 an hour pick picking oranges, who went to a dumpster diving to get food at the back the of the polls because she wasn't earning enough money. Talk, talk to the ombudsman who found the mango farmer who, out of 12 workers, four were paid nothing and the others Member were paid as little as $2.68 an hour. They the are affected, but the ads are dishonest. Concluded.